Okay, I didn't realize that when I booked this hotel that it was right in the middle of Germany's naughtiest street. This has to be the naughtiest place in the country. I just walked by and people were trying to um, sell me something to snort. You can see it's completely different than um, it was during the day with the neon signs. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the first vlog of 2024. Right now it is January 1st. By the time you guys are seeing this video, probably a week later, but today I'm heading off to Cairo, Egypt, and I'm actually flying Lufthansa business class. I'm heading to Frankfurt on a 10 hour, 50 minute flight with the 24 hour layover in Frankfurt. And then we'll be arriving in Cairo. So join me as we travel um, to Cairo, Egypt in this video or who knows maybe we'll do something cool in Frankfurt now I am shocked right now because here at the airport man there is a huge abundance of homeless people just hanging around outside the LAX airport and it's crazy that they do nothing about it and this is one of like the most busiest airports in the nation now I already checked my bag I did upgrade the flight here at the airport because I got the flight for super cheap around 500 US dollars with the long layover and then the upgrade cost me a thousand. So I still ended up getting the business class flight for about 1500 in compared to the 5,000 that it would have cost had I booked it online right away. So yeah, surprisingly, airport's not too bad right now, but it is January 1st. I have a feeling that January 2nd, tomorrow, is gonna be a lot worse. So let's actually make our way through security now and then we'll get up to the lounge. I got an hour and a half before boarding actually starts. So with the business class flight, you actually get the Star Alliance lounge access. I've actually never visited that lounge before, so I'm excited. There's no priority pass lounges here in the Tom Bradley, which kind of sucks. So normally I can't even use my priority pass to visit any. But um, today, since we did an upgrade, we get access to the lounge. So yeah, right now um, the lines are moving pretty smooth. Mine was terrible, but it actually only took me about an hour to get all the way through. So these here are, oh, this is where TSA pre-check goes up. So I'm actually in the other aisle. With all the traveling I do, I should probably get a TSA pre-check by now, but yeah, I don't really travel too much within the US. So it's kind of kind of a waste of my $100 if you ask me. I don't know, priorities, I guess. But yeah, I'll see you guys once we make it through security. Security was an absolute breeze and yeah, right now I'm in the middle of LAX. I just walked in. There's actually a lot of uh, stores open. Yeah, everything seems to be operating as usual. Now, right now I'm actually looking for the Star Alliance Lounge. I think I heard him say six floor, but I've never even knew that this airport was six floor. So, you know, maybe I'll ask information, but I definitely need a nice uh, Jack and Coke right about now. I think that'll, that'll spice up the mood a little bit and get me ready for this flight. So um, let me look for this lounge and then I'll see you guys inside there. And hopefully it's good because lately, a lot of the lounges that I've been going on into have been, they've been pretty weak. All right, you know what? Hmm, let me ask some information and then um, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I just got done asking and she said to walk towards the Gucci store and then make a left. So that's where we're heading to. Now she said it's actually in this tower on the sixth floor in the elevator, so. Let's go look for that right now and check it on out. Now, they also have a P.F. Chang's up there. I'm not sure if I've always missed that, but I've never noticed that here in this airport. But then again, I always show up here like just with enough time to board my flights. But yeah, check out the advertisements they got in here right now. Now, I know there's a lot of you guys who have never traveled before. If you've never taken a flight before, let me know. Yeah, right here. Sixth Floor Star Alliance. Okay, this spot is nice. Look, they got outdoor seating, outdoor terrace area, all kinds of places to sit down, a lobby. But this here is where I'm heading to first. First things first, let's hit the bar. Look, they got some snacks, the game on. Okay, this might be one of the coolest lounges I've ever visited. And I had no idea it was here at LAX, but yeah, they got a little like outdoor patio, no smoking, but they got some fire. You can enjoy the view of the planes inside they got a little selection of food it's not the greatest but it's there they got a nice fully loaded bar i actually got me a temple templeton rum and coke and yeah guys this place is awesome so i'm gonna do a little bit of snacking do a little bit of drinking i got one hour 45 minutes so i gotta be at the gate and i'm gonna get there early because i did pay for the business class so i'm gonna get um early board access and of course the welcome drinks so i don't want to miss that anyways guys cheers to 
um, 2024. I wish you guys an amazing year. Thank you for making 2023 one of the best of my life. And let's hope that 2024 can get better and may we all accomplish our dreams, our goals, and I wish you guys good health. So cheers. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Man, look at that. What a place. Ooh. Uh, he's trying to make sure I don't drink no more before I get on that flight. All right, well, um, I'm going to crush through a few of these bad boys. And you know what? I'm not going to bore you guys with too much of the lounge. I'll see you guys on the flight. How about that? So we have just boarded the flight. I had, let me, actually, you know what? Let me let you guys guess how many... Uh, Jack and Cokes are actually whiskey Cokes I had inside of the lounge, but right now we are inside of the plane. Now the seat is actually a little, it's a little spacious. It's not as good as the um, last business class we had to Sri Lanka. However, it is still, it's acceptable. So this here is the configuration. Down here we actually got a blanket, we got a screen, menus, tablets, a little bit of storage place, and it was actually given to us with a blanket that should be nice and a pillow. And yeah, we should be taking off here in the next few minutes. But yeah, definitely um, very spacious. It does have the overhead luggage compartment though. Um, but still, super spacious, very nice. So we have made it to Frankfurt. And let me just tell you guys, that flight was a breeze. Seriously, I hope one day I make it to a point in life where I can pay for business class every single time because that flight was amazing and literally um, didn't feel it at all. I fell asleep for about seven hours, fully lied down, and now I feel refreshed here in Frankfurt. So the airport is actually pretty busy. It's actually super cold out here too, but I'm excited. Now right now I actually don't have to pick up any bags because they're getting checked all the way to Cairo. Now. I think I'm just gonna look for the exit and head straight to my hotel. I'm actually staying in the city center at the Hilton. And I, from what I read online, it's only about a 15 minute train ride from here. And trains are right there, so let's go look for one. So I just made it through immigration now. According to Google Maps, the train is only about a 30 minute train journey to the city center. Actually, it should be a little bit faster than that um, because we are pretty much arriving to the train terminal right now but let me just tell you guys man i wasn't expecting the uh immigration officers to be as friendly as they were but man they were super kind super friendly and um yeah he even gave me some beer recommendations food recommendations cool guy man i love being in germany every time i'm in germany it's a good time um it's been a few years since i've spent some good quality time here in this country but springtime springtime is going to be Europe time. I'll be back to explore a lot more and of course make all of those good videos in the UK for you guys that you guys want to see. So right now, let's get on the train. Ooh, almost got hit by these gates and let's make it to uh, Frankfurt Hoppenhof. From here to Frankfurt city center, six euro and 30 cents. They actually have English, German, French, Italian, and Spain, Turkish translations. Single trip Frankfurt, adults. Actually, let's see how much the day pass costs. Day ticket, adults, 12 euro 30. Let's do that actually. All right, um, this one. All right, so the train is here. This here is the train that I'm gonna be taking to the city center. And according to the signs, it has Wi-Fi and it's only about a 13 minute ride to the city center. I mean, look at these trains though. They look awesome. A Little bit of graffiti, never hurt nobody. All right, let's get on in here. All right. Wow, they even have like a private cabin. That's cool. All right, I think I'll sit right here. Main station. Man, to be honest with you guys, I don't know what Google Maps was saying. That ride literally took 10 minutes from the airport to the city center, but right now we are here and man, inside the subway station, it is cold. It is super cold. So um, as soon as we walk on out of here, yeah, my nose is probably gonna start running. I can already feel the, the, the European winter vibes. Now, I usually steer away from winter. I'm not a big winter person, but for one day, why not? Now, I did hear that 
it is actually quite chilly in Egypt as well. But hopefully we get some nice weather while we're out there. Okay, I just saw a sign that says Ausgang, which means exit here in Germany. Now, um, quick little pro tip. Anytime you guys land in Europe, anywhere in the world actually, but especially here in Europe, in the, um, in the train stations, always make sure that you put your wallet, your phone, all your valuables in a safe spot because especially inside of these metro stations, uh, subway stations, man, uh, there's a lot of pickpockets, especially in Europe. And I had a friend in 2019 when we both landed in Berlin, literally from the airport to the hotel, he got pickpocketed and lost his wallet for the entire trip. So don't be one of those people. And I've already saw some, some little suspicious characters. So I had to move all of my belongings to the front, but here we are. Time to um, see what Frankfurt has in store for us. Wow, it's been many years since I have been inside of this uh, train station, but so many memories as soon as I walked out of here. I mean, look at how beautiful these train stations are here in Germany, guys, and all around Europe. So these here are where the tracks are. This is where the trains line up and you can actually take trains all around Europe from here. You can literally head all the way down to Greece or all the way to Spain on a metro rail um, from here in Frankfurt. I mean, look at how amazing this terminal is. It's super beautiful, isn't it, guys? I mean, look at this. So European, right? I mean, you can't get more European than this. Haters gonna hate, potatoes gonna potate. Oh, that's nice. I like that. But yeah, super cool place. Now, my first time ever in Europe was in 2017 when I quit my job to go and travel around the world. I came here with my best friend and we spent a lot of time in this train station and we basically traveled around Europe for seven months. We took, we took a lot of cheap Ryanair and Wizz Air flights, but we actually traveled mainly by Interrail. And you can actually um, purchase a Interrail pass for a month, two months, three months or even for a set duration amount of trips. So definitely something to, to look into if you're planning on coming out to Europe. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and you'll be able to have freedom to just hop on trains, hop off trains, head to new countries every single day. That's what I did. It was fun. I'm gonna be doing that again this year. So um, you'll be really reliving all of that with me. Let's see some Christmas decorations and we're about to see Frankfurt together. Oh man. Yeah, definitely winter vibes out here walked out to a cloud of cigarette smoke and um, the smell of rain but yeah this here is Frankfurt guys look at how beautiful this place is you can tell they had like some winter markets going on here I think that's what that was for but yeah look at the front of the station so beautiful right hopping off means main station in Germany or something like that because everywhere every big city has one of those but yeah super beautiful man all right it says we're about a 10 minute walk right up this road here. Let's go check out our room. Directly in front of the train station, actually, let me show you guys. Directly in front of the train station, there's actually this boulevard like walking street with all kinds of different restaurants. There's an Afghani restaurant right there, um, potato restaurant. I guess they eat a lot of potatoes here in Germany. Um, couple beauty stores yeah a lot of shopping very European Boulevard here now um, there's also lime scooters and uh, lime bikes everywhere for rents so pretty cool to see but yeah very cold and you know it's actually um, not super cold yet here in Europe especially if you ask the Europeans but for me I think I need some gloves and something to cover up my my ears for a little bit so I actually brought a beanie with me and some jeans because I'm only wearing sweatpants right now. But um, yeah, I'll get changed. And we'll probably go get some food here in a bit. Let's see, hopefully the area that my hotel in, or that my hotel is in, is quite nice. All right, so it looks like over here on this street, wow. Oh man, look at this. They got an erotic shop. What is this? More bars? Well, I guess I'm staying in like the, I guess the red light district? I'm not too sure, that's what it looks like. Okay, I didn't realize that when I booked this hotel that it was right in the middle of Germany's naughtiest street. This has to be the naughtiest place in the country. I mean, there are red lights, uh, I guess brothels everywhere. I mean, look at that. That's a brothel right there. 
Well, yeah, they just say you can come in for SEX. So this here is my hotel, Hilton Garden Inn. I've actually never stayed at a Hilton Garden Inn. Actually, maybe that's why it was so cheap because it was a Hilton Garden Inn and not a regular Hilton. All right, let's head on in there. Check-in was incredibly smooth. Man, this hotel's nice. Look, they got a little work sensor, a little computer that you can use, printer as well to print out your tickets. The lobby's quite nice. And now, it's time to head on upstairs. And I actually gotta throw the phone on the charger before I continue. All right, we're on the third floor. 329. Oh man, I smell Indian food. Smells good. Wow, I'm impressed for $80, not bad. I always love myself an elevator like this where you can get a nice view as you're going up to your room. A lot of high rise buildings. Frankfurt is known for being like um, one of the business cities here in Europe where there's all the banks and a lot of, uh, a lot of business takes place here. All right, 329. Let's see, hopefully we got a good view. All right, we're to the right. So this here is what $80 gets you in Frankfurt. Not bad, huh? Got a closet in here, nice queen size bed, chair, a desk, television, mirror, and then in here's the bathroom. Everything you need for a nice little short stay. Wow, definitely not bad for $80. I've stayed in a lot worse. And then I don't got a view, but hey, it'll do the job. It'll do the job. I mean, look at this. Yeah, it looks cold as shit out there, huh? I keep saying that this whole video, but... When you're in Germany in the winter, it's really not much to say, but it's cold as shit. All right, so I just left the hotel and it is raining. Now guys, I just actually walked into one of these buildings right here and they are in fact uh, red light districts. They are actually like seven, eight floors of just, yeah, hallways full of doors with women sitting out front of them. So it's pretty crazy. And there's actually like all kinds of uh, people out on the streets like selling dope. I just walked by and people were trying to, um, sell me something to snort so yeah definitely walk down the or book the hotel in the wrong side of the wrong side of the street this definitely is probably like germany's um craziest street for sure you know what i've been in germany for a whole hour and that's an hour too long it's time for a beer let's jump into a store and see if i can buy myself a nice little beer a uh, nice german beer to kick off this little trip so this here is what we're gonna jump on into what's up bro all right I think this here is what I'm going to go with, the Augustiner. These here are my favorite beers. Bam. And this is how you do it right here. This is my new German friend. I just walked out of the grocery uh, store. You want a beer? Let's buy you a beer. Come on. Let's buy the homie a beer. No? Oh, but I was going to. All right. All right. Here. Well, you know what? Let me get let me get him a let me get him a cheap beer, bro. I'll get you here. I get you one, bro. Which one you want? One euro fifty. That's your budget. <laughs> Come on. Which one? Which one you want? Yeah, yeah but which one? Yeah, I have a fifty cent here. This one, this one. Is that the one you want? Yeah, the one I just supposed to put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that one. Take that one. Take that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I pay for you. <laughs> so I just walked out of the store. So yeah, this here is the um, Augustiner, the Helles. My favorite beer in Germany. I believe it's a beer from Bavaria. Cheers. Or Prost. Now, when I was actually in the store, the guy that was working there, he was a pretty cool guy. He was telling me, don't buy none of these guys nothing. And he was telling me to be careful here on the street. He said that this street is very dangerous and to hide my phone and my watch. I was showing my Apple watch. So he was like, cover that and put your phone away. So you know what I think I'm gonna take his advice? Cheers. Mm. All right, let's find some food. All right, it's raining quite hard right now. So I decided to just Turn around and come into this restaurant right here. It's called Freetin Work. And it looks like they got like some traditional German food or at least uh, variations of it. Oh, wow, this place is awesome. All right, let's come on in here. Hopefully I can bring my beer in here. English, there we go, eat here. Let's see what kind of options they got. Oh, they got vegan options for all you vegans out there. Chicken shawarma, poutine, barbecue pulled pork, poutine. Poutine is what they call French fries here or um, pomis. Tijuana street fries. Wow, these have like guacamole, curry's worst special. You know what? Let's go ahead and try the curry's worst. That'll hit the spot right now. And let's go with, let's just do regular fries. So this here is my order. I, these are the curry's worst. It looks a little bit bougier than the curry's worst I usually eat. And then this here is a water because this year 
Well, besides the beers that I'm gonna have everywhere around the world, I've made it a New Year's resolution to not drink any more soda. So no more soda, no more Coke Zero. I gotta get rid of that stuff. And I gotta start making some better, healthier decisions. However, um, a beer, especially in Germany, is always a must. So let's dive on into this curry's worse. Now, I'm actually gonna grab one of the sausages, one of the fries. Now, I don't know exactly where I'm going with this video, um, but we'll see. We'll see what it turns out to be. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it, though. All right, cheers. I mean, this is what you do when you have a layover anywhere in the world. You go, you have some local food, you have a beer. You get some rest. Oh, man. That is so good. So, Curry's Worst is essentially just a sausage, a big sausage covered in curry sauce, and they love their fries here, and mayonnaise in Germany. Everywhere you go, they put mayonnaise on everything. I don't understand it, but... It goes well, it goes well. Mm. Um, it does make me feel good being back in Europe, however, I definitely am gonna, st am gonna stick to Europe in the summer, springtime. The winter for me is just brutal. And this isn't even that bad. Last year when I was in um, Europe chasing down all the Christmas markets, it was quite brutal out here. This, it's decent weather, but when it's wet outside, and you're all wet, it gets extra cold. Mm. So you see all of these little neon signs with the hearts? Basically, those are buildings with just floors of women. It's crazy. And yeah, the city center is super beautiful. It's a mix of like modern and then very traditional old German architecture. A lot of casinos as well. Interesting place. And there's also the Five Elements Hostel. This is actually where I stayed my first time um, ever in Frankfurt, but yeah, I'm on a little walk around right now. Very beautiful city, but very wet and cold So I ended up crashing for a few hours and now I'm walking the streets. It's super cold I threw the beanie on and let me just tell you guys the streets here around the main station get a lot rougher at night there's actually like needles around on the floor a bunch of like needles syringes you see a lot of people smoking like out of crack pipes man it's crazy it's a pretty surreal place and yeah like i mentioned earlier there's yeah red lights everywhere brothels so pretty crazy i was not expecting this um in this area i stayed at the five elements hostel a few years ago but i really didn't walk around here i stayed here stayed there just for the night and didn't spend too much time in this area and right now when i was actually leaving the hotel they told me to put my phone away and not walk around with it like i am right now however i wanted to show you guys what the vibes are looking like out here on the streets at night because you can see it's completely different than um it was during the day with the neon signs So this is what the streets look like at night. I mean, look at the buildings, how lit up they are with the hearts blinking, all the red windows. And it actually continues quite long as well. You can pretty much expect to, yeah, walk around and find these pretty much on every spot. But yeah, there's also a lot of good food here in the area as well, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this street so far. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Like this one here is called Las Vegas. But yeah, I've noticed that there's also a lot of like um, Arab food, a lot of Thai food, Vietnamese food here in this area as well. Let's actually change the camera angle a bit. Now for a lot of you guys that are not new to Europe, you might be like, man, that looks like a crazy place. What do you, uh, what do you, uh, why, why'd you choose to walk around there? But um, truth be told, a lot of big cities in Europe, especially around the main train stations or main bus terminals, they're always like the sketchiest places and you always find um, red light districts just like this. I mean, they have them in Brussels, here in Germany, and not just in uh, Frankfurt and Munich, and also in Nuremberg, there was a couple areas in the old town where I walked around and um, saw a couple of those things. Where else? I'm trying to make sure I don't step on anything I'm not supposed to. 
And you also gotta, excuse me, you also gotta be careful because as you're walking the streets, people are smoking all kinds of stuff out of um, pipes. And earlier as I was walking into my hotel, I had to walk underneath this like construction scaffolding. And there was a lot of people um, smoking out of some pipes down there. And let me just tell you guys, the fumes that were coming out of there smelled like something that you probably should not uh, be inhaling. Now, the reason I was saying that was because, well, a lot of those fumes can be toxic. And the last thing you want to do is like be walking down the street and get a nice whiff of some, I don't know, some damn fentanyl or something. And then you end up in a bag, you know? <laughs> so I'm trying to be uh, really smart. And now I'm going to be walking a different way back to the hotel. But yeah, the streets, I don't know. They are obviously very sketchy, but I don't find them. Well, I don't feel like um, they're dangerous. I mean, you basically just got a bunch of uh, junkies walking around and, you know, those people never really scare me too much because, um, well, obviously in Los Angeles, it's kind of the same, kind of the same thing going on. But European cities at night are all extremely beautiful. I mean, look at the, look at the architecture and the buildings. And there's actually quite a bit of movement out here as well for it being, well, freezing. <laughs> There is a lot of movement, but I guess the locals are obviously super um, accustomed to the weather. And for a lot of them, this here is probably nothing. So let me know. When is the when is the coldest time in Germany? When does it get the coldest? As of right now, I'll tell you what. I will not be coming in January, February, even March back to here. Because, yeah, whew, I am, I am uh, freezing. I can barely talk. But... Yeah, it feels good to be back out on the road. It feels good to be in Europe, even though it's just for a day. Let me know if Germany is on your guys' bucket list and if this is a place that you guys have wanted to visit. But yeah, there's the main station. I haven't really wandered too much. I tried searching up things to do in Frankfurt, but yeah, I was pretty tired and it's raining quite bad. So I didn't really want to venture off too much. But yeah, this here is what Frankfurt, Germany looks like at night. And um, now the, the next videos you guys are going to be seeing are going to be from Cairo, Egypt, which I'm really excited about. And hopefully it goes smooth because everybody, well, everybody that I know that has gone there has told me that it is a pain in the ass to enter with camera equipment and um, that they don't really like vloggers and that it's hard to film. So hopefully I can put together some good videos for you guys. I left everything at home, drone, camera equipment. I only brought the phone and the GoPro. So let's see what happens. But yeah. Like they even got a Mexican food restaurant right here across the streets. Even though I just had some queso bidia last night at home. Ross Man, which is kind of like a like a CVS pharmacy in the US. Almost like a Walmart. You can go in there and buy everything. Beauty items, a lot of liquor stores, convenience shops where you can buy beer. Yeah, it's nice. So literally one one street away. Look, there's the red light. Oh no. There's the red light street down that way, but one street over. And you got you know a bunch of shopping restaurants and it's pretty nice to walk around i have seen a, a large law enforcement presence here as well too so that's pretty cool to see because it makes you feel a lot safer especially as a tourist walking around in an area where you know is the main train station where people show up um from other parts of europe or around the world and you know it tends to be a bit rough so it's nice to see that the law enforcement presence is here all right well you know what I think um, that's going to be it for now. If I find something else interesting to show you guys, I'll tune back in. But for now, I'll see you guys again soon for another adventure from Cairo, Egypt. Now, I'm actually only going to Cairo and Alexandria. I'll be back to visit a lot more, but that's what I have planned for this trip as of right now. So um, let's see. Who knows? Things can change. And I heard that Alexandria uh, makes for a nice day trip, too. And you can actually get up there um, quite fast from Cairo. So who knows? Maybe I'll even change the itinerary a little bit but for now um yeah guys see you see you again soon for another one i hope you enjoyed this little video but it was nice to catch up and you know inform you guys on what's going on in the next few in the next few weeks what can you guys expect so yeah expect a lot of egypt videos and then after that we're heading to you know what i won't tell you guys all that just yet but um stay tuned a lot of exciting trips happening in the next few weeks you were always smarter I was the one